Well, we are counting down the days to this year's John Bergery Sled Dog Marathon. And soon, mushing teams will be racing from Duluth to Grand Portage on their more than 300-mile journey up the shore. Last year, we told you the story of one prominent racing team that encountered a tragic situation while training in northwest Wisconsin. Last winter, Ryan Reddington and a team of sled dogs were out on a run near Brule when a snowmobile veered too close and struck his team. The incident left one of Reddington's all-star dogs wildfire with severe injuries. Meanwhile, the snowmobile driver fled the scene and was never heard from again. Since then, it has been a story of hard work and perseverance to get wildfire back into racing shape. Northern News Now's Natalie Grant shares the story of his year-long recovery and the team overjoyed to see him back doing what he loves. The dogs are ready, ready to do what they love, which is running. In the backwoods of Brule, Wisconsin, the team at Reddington Mushing is preparing for their biggest races of the year. But last year at this time, the Reddington team was facing a much bigger challenge. They were helping one of their own start a long road to recovery. This is wildfire. It may not look like it now, but last winter he was struck by a snowmobile while out for a training run with his team, breaking his legs in several places. I thought it was so bad that I thought his leg was going to have to be amputated. You know how bad and swollen and, and it was. Leaving an irreplaceable gap in a team of well-trained sled dogs. We struggled to find multiple dogs to fill the hole that he left. After the crash, Wildfire was brought down to Mission Animal Hospital in the Twin Cities, where Duluth native Dr. Heather Hadley and her team took on the challenge of this case head-on, determined to help in whatever way they could. From the get-go, they were they were committed to seeing him through the sur whatever surgeries it was going to take, and, and then we were right there with them. No matter what the cost was going to be, I wanted to see that happen. During his time there, Wildfire underwent multiple surgeries and various therapies, all with the hope of getting his leg back to full strength. But I don't think any one of us involved necessarily knew whether he would be able to race again. That's just a whole nother level of athletic ability that's needed post-surgery, post-recovery. Hey, thanks. Yeah. And as Wildfire recovered, he quickly left his mark on his team, leading Dr. Hadley to not only open her heart to Wildfire, but also her home. We really realized that Ryan and Sarah needed help. They were about to be off to Alaska to continue with their um, winter racing, and they were really wondering how they were going to do this successful recovery for him. And so we were talking and finally came up with the plan that he would come to live with us while they were in Alaska. Dr. Hadley was able to monitor Wildfire's progress up close, giving him the best tools for success. And we started thinking, hey, maybe there's a chance here. Wildfire was eventually able to make a full recovery and is now back doing what he loves, defying the odds every step of the way. Just every time he's shown us, like, he's, he's getting, he's better and he's ready to go the extra distance. Proving that with the right team behind them, nothing can stop a sled dog from the wide open trail. And so I think that Wildfire actually did most of the work, and that's what's so incredible to see is that he, he wanted it and <laughs> went out there and got it. Dr. Hadley said while she was confident Wildfire would be able to recover physically, she was more worried about his mental recovery after such a traumatic event. But Kiefer and Reddington say Wildfire has jumped back on the trail and even raced at the Gunflint Mail Run earlier this month. Kiefer says she is planning to have him on her team during this year's Bear Grease as well. Dr. Hadley and her husband will be along for the ride as part of her handling team. Well, don't miss a minute of the Bear Grease Marathon action. Our very own Natalie Grant and Briggs Savage will be hitting the trails and following the teams from Duluth to Grand Portage. Coverage kicks off Sunday at 10 p.m. right here on Northern News Now.